Here's Hello everyone, welcome back to Fishing with Captain Sharky. Today is a special day. Today we're going to cover filet and fish, of all things. But it's a necessary part of our fishing experience. We bring home the fish and we need to clean them so we can eat them. There is a right way and a wrong way to do it. Most importantly is you want to have a really sharp filet knife. This is one of the most vital parts of cleaning fish. And the other thing is you want to prep your table so that you have everything ready so you're not running off to gather things. I have a nice wooden table here and I have um, his tail clamped to the, to the wooden cutting board. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate a fillet first. The first thing you're going to want to do is come underneath the fin right here and cut up on an angle from the head and come around down to the bottom and make a nice clean cut. Then the next thing you're going to do, I'm going to turn it so you can see it, is you want to come down the edge, make a cut on the tail, and then you want to come right down the edge of the backbone, right where the fin is, just like that. Come right down the edge, all the way to the head, just like that. Then you see you can slide your finger in there and you can see the filet. And as you're holding it, you cut away the meat, just like that. Let the knife lay against the edge of the bones so that it has a guide. And you just keep coming like that until the filet gets nice and open like this. One of the most important things to remember about filleting or cleaning fish is try not to damage any of the, of the sack of waste material that's inside the belly of these fish because it can give an odor to the meat. All right, and then once that's done like this, you got a nice fillet there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right off, just like that. And then we have, I dip it in a little water, clean it. And then you have a nice fillet right there. But still, I've got the skin on the other side. So what I'd like to demonstrate for you is how to get that off. What I like to do, you can use the clamp if you want, clamp the meat there, but I actually prefer to do it by hand. And I grab the very end right there, make a little cut down to the skin, and then lay the knife along the skin. Hold it and just let the knife do the work. Slide right down the edge of the meat just like this, hold the skin, and then when you're done, you have a beautiful filet of meat with no skin on it at all. And here is your skin completely off. Now, another good tip is try not to throw your skin and your waist and your guts into your wife's garbage can or your house garbage can. I like to put everything in a little bag and then at the end, when it's all done, I can close this bag up and separate it from the other garbage. Now that's one nice fillet right there. Then what I do is I turn it over on the other side and I do the basically the same thing. I make my cut up to the head. Let me turn it so you can see. And then I make my cut along the side of the bone, the backbone and the pectoral fins and the dorsal fins are all cut off. Just keep peeling it away like that, a little at a time. Just like that. Until you get a nice fillet. Cut the tail a little bit. And then there's a nice fillet again. Ready to go to the freezer for that beautiful dinner. Now here's the some people like to keep the heads for soups and stuff, but really, you just disregard the body into a special little bag. And then back again to the take the skin off. One more time, you hold it, let the knife do the work along the skin, just like this. And then you have a nice filet of meat again. 
beautiful job, no bones whatsoever. And that, you rinse it a little bit, and then it goes on the plate too. Now those two fish fillets right there are ready for breading and eating. But what I'd like to show you all is that if you take a freezer bag and you label it correctly, like this will be trout April 20th. And then what I do is I put only enough in there for how many people are going to eat. If we have two people that are going to eat, then I'll put two fillets or maybe three so you have an extra one. But whatever you do, don't fill the bag with eight or nine fillets expecting to take one or two out later and eat them. Because once you thaw out the bag, you cannot refreeze the fish. So just bag enough for each serving. And remember, the labeling is important because when you're digging through the freezer later, you want to know what you're looking at.